we started in September of 2005. We completed installation in September 2006. We were averaging three fatal crashes and about three to four incapacitating crashes every year from 1999 through 2006. Going from three fatalities per year, three fatal crashes per year, to in the last two years not having any involving the median is just really remarkable. Right now we have a little bit over 80 miles of cable barrier on Interstate 10. It was just over $9 million, so you're looking at just a little bit over $100,000 per mile. That did include the concrete pad underneath the, underneath the cable. We got a lot of comments on what on earth are we building a sidewalk down the middle of Interstate 10 for? Was it going to be a bicycle lane? Uh, people saying, oh, that's never going to stop anybody. Why are you building a fence in the middle of the interstate? The ones that do drift off, fall asleep, go into the median, we've been very successful at catching them. Um, we call it a catch. We've caught an oil field workover rig. We caught a tour bus. Uh, we had two vehicles, two trucks. One was a commercial vehicle, the other was a truck pulling a trailer. They went in, they sideswiped and went into the cable at the same time. Uh, so you hear more about those because the passenger vehicles, they can hit the cable and, and most of the time they just drive off. We had a truck driver that travels between San Antonio and Houston with his loads, you know, making his deliveries. And he was very skeptical. He, he saw it every day as we were constructing the project. He had his opportunity to see it work. He was going his way back to San Antonio from Houston and he saw this car drifting into the median and he saw it coming directly towards him. And he saw it just before it hit the cable barrier, he closed his eyes because he knew that car was coming towards him. He closed his eye and he never heard the, the pow. And he, when he opened his eyes, he saw the cable pulling the car back into the median. It made a believer out of him. In the three and a half years since installation of 80 miles of cable barrier, the Yoakum District has experienced only three fatal median crashes. In 2009, the Traffic Division published implementation guidelines and a maintenance manual based on experience gained from the Yoakum District. These publications are available on the web at these addresses. My career with TxDOT, this is one thing I'm very proud to say I was involved with. 